Well, welcome back everyone. In studio now we have a local photographer, Josh Madsen, who has a really big idea for our community. But Josh, I want to first of all talk about your background um, and sort of that'll, I think, set the stage for what you're trying to do. Sure, sure. So I was, I was born in, you know, small town Minnesota and Fargo-Moorhead area. And then when I was about 12, my family moved to Minneapolis. Um, I lived around that area for a little while. And then I took off to Los Angeles for yeah. 15 years. I knew like very few people out there when I arrived and uh, it was very intimidating, you know, to be part of that. And like, I don't know anyone basically out here. Um, but I was really lucky. I got, I had an opportunity to work with Annie Leibovitz and some other major photographers. Uh, I don't know if your viewers are familiar, but she's probably like one of the larger household names of photography. Mm -hmm. So from that experience, I ended up working with a lot of New York, London, Parisian photographers, and I, I was like a, a sponge, a little fly on the wall, right? Just taking in all this information. And from there, I was able to launch my own business, directing commercials and shooting you know, photo photographic campaigns for companies like L'Oreal or Gwyneth Paltrow for Goop, that kind of stuff. So I had a, I had a very interesting ride, a, a nice, a long, long trajectory up in Los Angeles. And then during the pandemic, everything shut mm -hmm. down and I came back to Minnesota to be closer to family uh, and closer to my mom who lives here now. So I've been in the area about a year and a half. And uh, my mom is actually one of the big inspirations for this project. Um, her desire was, she was like, are you seriously, you spent 15 years developing your career in photography and you're not gonna do anything with it? You're <laughs> just gonna come back to me? I'm like, I don't know, I don't know what's here. Like, yeah. I'm not really sure what I should do. So uh, w coincidentally, we were over at the Coffee Hag one morning. Our, one of our rituals is to go and have coffee every, every Sunday, and then we, that's my, my mom time, right? And so we get up to the front of the line and talking, and Jen just happened to be, Jen Melby Kelly, mm -hmm. ha you know, the owner, she happened to be working the cash register, and my mom being my mom goes like, she's like, oh, Jen, you need to meet my son, he's a <laughs> photographer. And I'm like, oh, geez, mom, please, like, <laughs> stop it right now. But Jen was like, oh, you have great work, like we should really do something. So when I got home that night, I, you know, watching Netflix with my mom and I just poured out this like 10 page idea. Um, and I was like, well, if I am gonna do something here, I wanna do it like on a, on a me scale, like I have a tendency to blow everything up yeah. that I do. So Jesus, Josh. But uh, so my idea was to turn the coffee hag into a pop-up photo portrait studio and give members of the community the on-set experience, like the experience to be in a professional photo shoot. So we're gonna clear out all the tables and chairs and we're gonna put in you know, professional background and lighting and monitors so that people can watch themselves being photographed. But the ultimate goal is to create like a Where's Waldo of Mankato. Mm -hmm. Like portraits of anyone and everyone that in the community that wants to be involved, like truly all are welcome. I'm, really excited to host that. So getting all those portraits and then really like we're gonna, a couple months later, our goal is uh, September or October, we're gonna take down all the artwork that exists in there and then we're gonna coat from floor to ceiling and even the ceiling itself in portraits of people. That's so cool. When is that all happening? So the shoot itself is happening on Saturday, mm -hmm. June 10th. Uh, we're starting appointments at 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. We do have a reservation system, which I'm assuming we can put in the QR code so that people can find that. Um, you don't need to have a reservation, but I mm. figure like, I don't like lines. I don't know how you guys feel yeah, about right. lines. But uh, so if, if you make a reservation, you, they can skip the line and basically go to the front of it. Um, but you'll get in for a classic portrait setup. I'm doing everything in black and white. Mm. I have a very similar setup to one of my heroes, Richard Avedon in photography, a very, you know, one of the mm -hmm. first portrait photographers. So I actually have the same light that he used for that, for his setups oh, here. Wow. Yeah. yeah, so I, I kind of gave everything sort of a vintage retro feel to it. Cool. Um, yeah, and so we're gonna have a black background or a white or a gray, and we're gonna put it in whatever feels right or whatever they want. Mm -hmm. And it can be a single person, it can be a family. 100%. Yeah, whatever yep. they want. I mean, I've had a couple of people be like, you're, you, can I bring my dog? I'm like, yeah, of course, bring your dog, whatever, your cat, I don't care, as long as they get along, I guess, in the space. <laughs> but I had another couple that told me that I'm gonna do their engagement photos that day. Oh, okay. You know, so yeah. it's like, whatever there is, you know, you wanna bring your family in, you know, maybe people couldn't afford a family photograph, mm -hmm. they're gonna get that. So my team, we're gonna actually give them the opportunity, once they leave set, they're immediately gonna go to the next station 
and they're gonna be able to select a few photos Aww. and then we're gonna email the photo of their choice that's to them. Awesome. Oh, that's super All right. cool. Yeah. Okay, we're out of time, but thanks for coming on today. Thank you so much All for having right. me, I really appreciate it. And we'll get all the information on our website. More on Kiddo Living when we come back.